Hi there, Stan the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent License in all 50 states. I like doing that. I don't know why. I need to be a lead singer or something, you know? Don't you agree? Lead singer of like a rock band or something like that? Today's topic is a good one. What happens to the annuity? How does it work when you move? Hey, I'm living in California, moving to Idaho, and then I'm moving to Texas, and then I'm moving to Tennessee. How does it all work? What happens to the contractual guarantees? What happens to the state guarantee fund? What happens when you're rolling, 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 moving, 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 and hey, we're in, a, we're in a transitory environment. You might be fleeing a high tax state to a low tax state. I would be, I mean, because I don't like paying those taxes. But that's coming up a lot. People are saying, hey, what happens? What happens Stan the annuity man, if I want to go out of the country, I want to expatriate out of this crazy place, what happens then? I want to tell you all that because I have all the answers because I'm Stan the annuity man, America's annuity agent, after this. All right, so you bought the annuity, right? You're, you're living in Montana and you're going to move to Texas. What happens? Stan the annuity man, what the heck happens? Well, if it's a lifetime income stream annuity, um, if you want to change banks, you you know where the money's going to be hitting every single month, let us know. We'll help you with those forms and, and set that up for you to make sure that your the continuation of that income stream is going to happen. But let's talk about it from a logistical standpoint of state guarantees. Because what happens to the state guarantee fund? And if you don't know this, let me tell you. Fixed annuities are backed at the state level. Um, each state has, has what's called a state guarantee fund. It is not, let me repeat, it is not as good as FDIC or SIPC insurance, it, but it is coverage for the annuity industry. And that site is, is obviously www.nolhga.com, nolhga.com. You can look at that. But what happens when you move from Montana to Texas or wherever the state to state, the state that you have residence in, your new state of residence, the state guarantee fund applies in that new state, okay? The contractual guarantees don't change that you bought. Nothing changes uh, except for probably your bank account because you're going to have a different bank, maybe, maybe not. If so, we can help you with that. But the state guarantee fund applies at your state of residence. So that's what happens when you're moving. You're also going to have to alert us. Obviously, I'm assuming you're going to be a Stan, the annuity man, the annuityman.com client with the greatest team on the planet. I mean, we will take care of you. You're going to have to let us know your new mailing address and all that stuff so we can coordinate that with the, with the carriers, make sure that they get that, make sure you're getting your statements and, and all of that stuff. All of the administrative stuff when you move, please let us handle that for you, if you're a client, obviously, uh, and I hope you will be. But that's what happens if you're moving. Let's talk about moving out of the country. This is a little bit more detailed, as you can well imagine, but more and more we are seeing people move out. I, I did a, a recent podcast. Oh, by the way, we have what's called the Fun with Annuities podcast. We just uh, have hundreds of them, which is good. Um, actually, actually, at the time of this taping, I think we just surpassed 100, but maybe you're watching this two years from now. We do it weekly, um, all major podcast platforms. It's called Fun with Annuities, and I have experts on all different genres. You know, we don't talk about annuities, we talk about everything else. One expert I had on was a person that specialized in helping people move from the United States to other countries, whether that's Panama or Nicaragua or Costa Rica or whatever, Mexico. Um, I think they do a lot of people move to Asia, some, some countries in Asia. Um, it's happening more and more. People, I think, are just, it's not that they're mad with the political environment. I guess they can be, but a lot of times it's just on people's bucket list. They can go to these places. It's a little bit lower standard of living. It's, it's an adventure. It's, you know, you only live life once and you're doing that, but how does that affect annuities? Um, first of all, you can't buy an annuity unless you are a resident of a state. You have a social security number. You have, you know, you're living in, you're living here in the States. You can buy it. But if you move the, let's just say you buy an immediate annuity, you got getting lifetime income from that immediate annuity and you move to Panama. Um, we're going to have to obviously change 
what bank that's going to hit. A lot of people that do this and that are advised by people that are in that business to help them move to another country, they advise them to choose a global bank that has not only branches in the United States, but branches in that country that they're going to. So there's a seamless transition from a banking standpoint that makes sense. But we are very, 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 very cognizant of the fact that uh, under the Patriot Act, we are, we, we're, our radar is up for what's called money laundering. And um, you know, we are very cognizant to that. We're, we're going to ask a lot of questions on when you're moving, how you're moving, et cetera, et cetera. But if all of that checks out, then you can move and the, the annuity, comp the annuity uh, guarantees continue uninterrupted and unchanged even though you might be living now in Costa Rica. Just understand, when you buy contractual guarantees, regardless of where you decide to live, they're going to remain intact. They're not going to change just because you moved. The changes that you're going to have to address with us re revolve around the administrative side, where the money's hitting the bank, the, the, the mailing address, et cetera. And the annuity companies are very professional. They're very well run, and they know this is happening, and they are you know, cognizant of the steps that need to take place, and they're checking off the bo boxes, too, to make sure it's not money laundering as well. Because I read something the other day, I don't know if this is completely true, but life insurance and annuities is a target for people to try to launder money. I would, I guess every single financial instrument is like that. But, um, you know, we will ask some questions about what you're trying to do, et cetera. But if that's in the back of your mind, first of all, listen, the podcast I did on that was great. Uh, but second of all, we can help you with that move, whether it's moving domestically in, in turn, inside the United States or if it's moving outside of the United States. So here's the bottom line about moving. Once you own an annuity and you're going to move, whether you're moving domestically within the United States or you're moving outside of the United States, okay? Understand this. The contractual guarantees don't change. You bought the annuity for what it will do, not what it might do. Studio, right? And you own it for the contractual guarantees. The contractual guarantees are not going to change at all. If you're moving inside the uh, United States, what changes is the state guarantee coverage from, wh from where you're coming, going, coming from to where you're going to. So if you move from the example I gave from Montana to Texas, instead of having Montana state guarantee coverage, you now have Texas state guarantee coverage. But I think the biggest thing with this topic, obviously, obviously we want you as a client. If you are a client, we need you to communicate with us. You know, everything's about communication, right? Um, you know, we had a, a situation the other day where the person's multi-year guarantee annuity matured and, you know, we wanted to, the person said, hey, you know, I want you to send me the check. I'm not going to transfer, just send me the check. But they were moving and they really didn't have an address. No, you need to be a little bit better than that, a little bit more proactive than that. Let us know ahead of time so we can get everything in place to make that part of your move seamless. I mean, when you come to us at theannuityman.com and you become a client, then we're going to handle all that administrative stuff so you don't have to worry about it, but we do need you to communicate if you do decide to move, and we certainly can help you if you want to move an expatriate outside the United States. We can, we've done that before. We've been to that annuity rodeo before. It's something that we can do. So with that, hey, it's all good. You buy contractual guarantees. You own contractual guarantees. Doesn't matter where you live because you own contractual guarantees. Hey, do me a favor. Click the subscribe button. I don't know what I'm pointing to. I'm getting ready to point to that. Click the subscribe button. Put the comments down there. Share this with your friends and your not friends. And I'll see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man YouTube video.